ಬಂದೇಹಂ The following is a conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 19th of June, 1974, in Germany. Read this, Mark. Kamasya nendriya pritir labho jive ita yavata jivasya tattva jignatha narto yas jeha karma bhi. Translation. Life's desires should never be aimed at gratifying the senses. One should desire to live only because human life enables one to inquire about the absolute truth. This should be the goal of all works. ಬೇಟಿ But the third one we are never talking about has to look to transparency of our body consciousness to become transparent in a way that in our body and through our body we might look for the absolute truth. Yeah. That this goes together. So the thing is that if my life is based on false conception that I am this body so the bodily appreciation of beauty or any other thing that is that is also false that is also false if i am not this body then anything conceived in relation with this body that is false for usually we see the body the body in connection with beauty or health but there's another possibility to use the body as a transparent medium to conceive the absolute truth yeah that that is explained yeah jiva sa tatva jigyasa that means with this body you should not waste your time like the birds and bees but utilize it for inquiring about the absolute truth that is the reality so that that that, that you have to learn how with this body you can utilize your energy to understand the absolute truth and we establish is your your relationship with the absolute truth so we ask is it a waste of our energy if we try to do good for others if we smile and be kind but you cannot do good to others yeah. because you do not know what is good you are thinking of good in terms of your body but body is false therefore the conception of goodness is also false no no it, i i i i withdraw that word false but it is not you it is it is false in this sense that you are accepting this body yourself but that that you are not just like i live my identity with, with the my body, body okay. but the body is false yeah. false in this sense that you are not this body i am only you are simply just a, i am occupying this apartment but i am not this apartment i am different from this apartment yes this is understand so if you take interest of the apartment and you forget yourself that is false if i simply decorate this apartment and i don't eat myself that what is the uh, <laughs> this is false attack that we are trying this is called in the bhagavad it is said that apranasya hi desa mannanam lokaranjana now this body Uh, just uh, you or I, you, everyone, we are nicely dressed. But if the life is gone from the body, if you dress the body, is that very good intelligence? You have understood yes. that I am dressing. So long my life is there, I am dressing very nicely. This body, 
But when the body is dead, if you dress the body, or somebody, or your relative dresses nicely, it is very good intelligence. Uh, but because he, he does not know I that he is not this body. Yeah, what he says, yeah. because if we go out of the room, the hmm. room remains as it is, but if we go out of the body, hmm. the body doesn't remain. So he said there must be an intimate connection between the soul but, but and the body. But remains mean in the same way. It's like if I leave this room and it remains here in few years' time, it will be destroyed. And similarly, if you leave this body in few hours, it, will be, it is a question of hours and years. The soul is different from the body. Yes, yeah, but he, at the same time, he, he said that there must be a very intimate connection, uh, actually a oneness of body and soul. That is what is now. No. As long no. as we are alive. As long as we are alive. Yeah. We have to that is one. not oneness. Just like this room is important so long I am living. Otherwise it has no importance. If the, even the body is very dear, I throw it up. Huh? He doesn't want to separate this. But you, say, you, you, you must separate. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as your so death comes, your body will be kicked out I by think, your relatives. I think the difference is now just one that uh, folks spoke about our lifetime, that during our lifetime there is an intimate unity between life and soul. Yeah as we experience it. And he no, has there's no doubt that uh, soul is something different of the body. Mm-hmm. And when soul goes out, there's <coughs> no life anymore. So I think I will kind of spell that. Maybe add one thing. Perhaps it makes a difference if the person thinks, I am the spirit, I have a body, or he thinks, I am a body and I possess a soul. Hmm? That is an, an important point. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm? that is his mistake. Hmm? That he is body and he possesses a soul, but not that. He is so, he is covered by this body. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another example, just like your core, so long you use it, it is important. And you don't, if you don't use it, it is not important. But if you take code, it is very important. And it is important, and it is important, so long you use it. But if you don't use it, it is torn, you throw it out, you take another code. Can we not also say that self and not self must separate, either in death, involuntarily or through destiny? Mm. Must separate. Must self separate. and not self must separate. Must separate. Must separate. Either through death or destiny. Yeah, that is called death. You separate from this body, you accept another body. This period is called death. So the body which you occupied previously, that is, that is false now. Now the body which I have occupied now, that is important now. So you are giving stress on the body which I am changing after few years. That is the problem. Misunderstand. It would be important for us all to know what would you say to the question how to realize the last truth? And what do you mean by realize? The eternal truth. The no, no. part that I understand is that real life, real it, it, eternal life, means nothing but to recognize the Father in the Son. Yes, yes. that is real business. Uh, and we have created so many unnecessary superfluous business. Uh, we have uh, set aside the real business to know the Father. And that is the mistake of the civilization. Professor Durkheim's question was very simply, what is our way or what is our method to realize the highest truth? To realize the highest truth. Because we would learn from you what's your way. Yeah. What is our the process? simplest method is uh, to associate with the Father or the Absolute Truth by association. This association can be possible. God, His name, His form, his pastimes, his abode, his paraphernalia, everything is God. Because absolute. First of all, you should understand this absolute truth. Just like here in the relative world, the name of a person is defined from the person. But in the absolute world, mm. the name and the person are the same. So we are teaching or preaching this, 
that you chant the holy name of God, you associate immediately with God. And if you associate immediately with God, then you gradually you become godly. The example is just like you put one iron rod in the fire, it becomes warm, warmer, warmer, and red, at last red hot. When it is red hot, it is no longer iron rod, it is fire. Similarly, if you simply associate with God, then gradually you become God D or all the qualities of God. Then you understand God and your life becomes perfect. In holy name of Krishna. Holy name of God. Of God. If you don't like to chant Krishna, you chant in your own way. Yes. But chant the name of God. If you know the name of God, chant it. Yes. If you do not know, then take it from me. <laughs> we are recommending to chant the holy name of God. If you know, you chant that name. And if you don't know, then take it from me. Uh, explained by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that God has many thousands of names, or God has no name. No name means He has, he has God. How oh, many thousands and millions of names that you cannot say this is only God's name. This is one sense. But how God names are understood. The God names are understood by His action. Just like we say Krishna. Krishna means all attract. God is all attractive. God is attractive for the Hindus, for the Muslims, for the Christians, for everyone. Therefore, being all attractive, this is Sanskrit word of all attraction, Krishna. This is the explanation of the attribute of God. Similarly, if you have got similar name, which explains the attributes of God. That is also God's name. This is I am I am God. Yes, I think you said the Lord Jesus Christ said, "God, hallowed be Thy name." The Lord's prayer. Yes. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. So His name. You find out what is His name and chant it. And if you do not know, then take it from us. There you are. He has a name. He has a name. He is not without name. Now he can be no name. He says, Hello, be thy name. He has a name, therefore he says. Name. But there is no name in the That doesn't mean. He, 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 he might not have mentioned or you have not noted. But when he says, Hello, be thy name, there must be the name. Therefore I say, if you do not know the name, you take it from us. That is intelligence. Why should you say that there is no name? He said, there would be thy name. There must be name. But you do not know. But it is purposely done not to, to say the name of God to... Because there is name. You find out. He said, he said this, uh, when, when there is said, hello be the name, mm-hmm. it's uh, meant in this way, that there is no mention of a particular name to uh, be respected. Yes, yes. To, to, to be that we say, that the God has no particular name, but according to action, His name is done. Just like Krishna. Krishna is not the name. Krishna means all attractiveness. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Moses asked. Just as Buddha is not a name. Hmm. Because he is man of knowledge, that is called Buddha. The one who has reached... Buddha. Buddha, Buddha means one who has perfect knowledge. Buddha is not the name of somebody. Just like you say, hallowed be thy name, President. President. Now the President has a name, but you do not know. But the President must have a name. Has the name a special esoteric meaning Mm. and is the technique of chanting the name, has this a special uh, uh, hidden purpose that the the unenlightened do not... Not hidden, but open. Mm. Because absolute is not defined from his name. Therefore, when you chant the name of the Absolute, that means you associate with the Absolute. As soon as you associate with the Absolute, you become purified. Like iron and fire. Yes, yes. 
हरिर्नाम 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 केवल कलो नास्ति वो नास्ति वो नास्ति मगति रन्न था और ये पाठ्यक्ष है यू सिंपली चार्ड द नेम ऑफ द लॉ हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे मीन्स ऑफ द लॉ एंड नाम मीन्स नेम थ्राइस जस्ट लाइक वी गिव स्ट्रेस थ्री टाइम्स यू डू इट यू डू इट यू डू इट दिस इज ए गुड स्ट्रेस सिमिलरली शास्त्र से हरे नाम हरे नाम हरे नाम नाम ही वो केवल हम सिंपली चांस द लॉर्ड्स ने कलो इन दिस एज अ कोली नास्ती वो नास्ती वो नास्ती वो गति रन्न था देर इज नो अदर ऑल्टरनेटिव फॉर सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन नो अदर ऑल्टरनेटिव देर वो स्ट्रेस शुड बी गिव फॉर एवरी वन टू चार्ज द होली नेम ऑफ द कली मीन दिस एज ऑफ क्वार दिस एज इज सिंपली वॉट फाइटिंग एंड क्वार they are not interested to understand the absolute truth but they are interested in fighting and quarreling that is this is called kali kali means fight would you please be so kind as to further uh, elucidate your technique as of uh, one chance the name of god and will you please be so kind as to elucidate further in some particular way or what comes was not that so came in this and Uh, what uh, what uh, should be done in addition to that or how it is uh, how it is uh, formulated in the in the total in the complete system of your reverent teachings yeah this is the bhakti marg means the first thing is shravanam hearing that's like these books are being written to give chance people to hear mm. that is first business if we don't hear about god Uh, we simply imagine something. Now we must hear about God. Uh, we are we are publishing eighty books like this. Simply to hear about God. Then when you hear perfectly, mm. then you can describe to others. That is called kirtan, sabanam, mm. kirtan. And when the process goes on, hearing and chanting mm. or describing, mm. kirtan means describing. Just that like our this whole uh, society is hearing from these books, and they are going going out to mm. describe. Mm. This is called kirtan. Then, by these two processes, hearing and chanting, you remember smaranam. That means remembering. You always associate with God. So at all times, remember me. Yeah. Sabanam kirtanam Vishnu smarana pada sevan. Then worship in the deity to offer flowers to the lotus feet of the Lord, to garland, to dress pada sevanam, archanam, bandanam, offer prayer, dasam, sarv. In this way, there are nine different processes. Maybe we have a similar thing in the Christian parallel to the forgiving and waiting on God. This entirely is derived from Buddha Lawrence Joseph and this is. Yes, uh, Christian method, the offering prayer. That is bhakti. That is bhakti. Kaliji ko means fight. Yes. Uh, no more. Nobody is interested to understand the truth, but they will simply fight. Uh, in my opinion, this I will say my opinion. This he will say his opinion. So many police opinions and fight between them. This is the age. What happened? No standard opinion. Everyone has got his own opinion. Therefore, there must be fight. Everyone says, "I think like this." Oh, what is your value? You are thinking like that. That is correct, because you have no standard knowledge. Yes. If a child says, "The father, in my opinion, he shall do it," is that opinion to be taken? If he does not know the thing, how he can give his opinion? But here in this age, everyone is prepared with his own opinion. That would is fight, quarrel. Just like the United Nations, all the big men go there to become united, but they are increasing flags. That's all. <laughs> fighting. It is a society of fighting only. The Pakistan, the Hindustan, the American, the Vietnam, 
it was meant for unity, but it, it is rendered into fighting association. That's all. Everything. Because everyone is imperfect and he wants to give his perfect knowledge. Do you mean yoga exists all the time? No. This is a period. Therefore, this uh, Brahma Sutta says that you should be eager to inquire about the absolute truth. Adhat Brahma Jigyasa. Now the answer next code is the Brahma or the absolute truth is that from which or from whom everything has come. Adhat Brahma Jigyasa Janma Adhasya Jataha. Now you find out where is the everyone is trying to find out what is the ultimate cause. That should be the end. The, if you follow this philosophical course, then your fighting will stop. It will be sober. That, that, this verse also. Tattva jiggyasa. Tattva jiggyasa means to inquire about the absolute truth. Sit down. So there should be a class of men, very intelligent class of men in the society who are discussing about the absolute truth. And they will inform others, this is absolute truth, my dear friends, my dear, you do it like this. That is one thing. But here everyone is absolute truth. That is fighting. This was always the desire of mankind to find but then he says uh, the kings should be wise and the wise men should be kings. Yeah. So he said uh, this was always a desire, but... Um, but the thing is right? that this uh, desire uh, is there everywhere. But whose desire is standard? That should be understood. Desire. Everyone is desire. But whose <coughs> desire is to be followed? What is the actual, actual desire? That is to be understood. Unless you do not know what is the standard of that, then the fighting will go up. You desire in one way, I desire in our mind. That knowledge is important also. No, no. Knowledge is, no, knowledge, there is that is described. That knowledge is according to the quality of the person. If the man is a divorce, what is the value of his knowledge? We, see, we cannot take up the knowledge achieved by a divorce. The perfect human being is this guy. Some of the mouth is the ka, arjava. And now? Yes. Hmm? You cannot have, have heaven on earth simply by our desire to be. No. Despite that, there are intelligent class of men, they sit together, they do not fight. That is, still you can make, because the example is there, but that requires qualification. Therefore, what is the qualification? Hmm. Translation, peacefulness, self-control, austerity, purity, tolerance, honesty, wisdom, knowledge, and religiousness. These are the qualities by which the Brahman is work. That is the qualities of the highest intelligent class of man. So if you do not find such qualities, how you see the knowledge will be perfect. These are the qualities. So huh? he's, he's doubting if we should be convinced of that. Well, if he is not self-controlled, he will not be convinced. Because he will think it is rebellious. I can do anything I may like. I can eat whatever I like. The how you like this idea, self-control. But one question, you see, these virtues have been always asked for by Christian churches also, yeah. exactly the every, same. Every but then today we realize that the virtues are on one level with vices. But there's something different. If you pass through the initiatic step you get somewhere, you see, where we can understand, for instance, if Christ says, let the dead bury their dead. Mm -hmm. A phrase like this appeals to a different level. So I think as long as... No, it is not a different level. The advice is given according to the time person. So 
he people follow uh, Lord Christ and I mean to say instruction. That is also perfect. But they do not follow. They do not. They do not follow. Sure not. That's it. Otherwise, either you follow Bhagavad Gita or Bible as they are, then you become gradually perfect. The difficulty is they do not follow. And still they are claiming, I am Christian, I am Hindu, I am this and that. Rubber stamp. No qualification, but rubber stamp. This is the difficulty. Uh, First of all, I acquire this material qualification, then talk of spiritual. So that's what is the note when I think in the university, if one wants to learn about law, he must be graduate first. Yeah. In India, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So he, uh, first of all you become graduate, then talk of law, books. Similarly, you first of all become a Brahmin, then you understand our Brahma, absolutely. Without becoming Brahmin, how you can understand? Three modes of material nature and the work ascribed to them, the four divisions of human society were created by me. And although I am the creator of this system, you should know that I am yet the non-doer, being unchangeable. Your message, I think, will be very much appreciated by that youth of today in the western part of the world who says to the adults, you have educated us to go to uh, maintain our position in the world, to do something useful for the community, and to behave nicely. Mm, but you true. never but you never ask us who we are and who we should become yeah, in the world. That is the beginning this of our talk, that you are spirit soul. You are spirit soul. Yes. You are is. not this body. That is the beginning of our talk. Mm. First of all, we are speaking of a gradual process of self-realization, mm. first adopting these political qualities and going further and further. So he asks if it's, he's missing, if it's not possible to become illuminated at once by God's grace, mm. become uh, converted without undergoing these things. Chant Hare Krishna. That is it. Yes, we haven't got to undergo these and that. Simply chant and it will, it will become perfect. So easy yes. But still they will not accept. That is the division. When you give the easiest way, they won't accept. Huh? Easiest way is we are recommending they chant the holy name of God. Do it. Not that you chant the name of Krishna. He, you have got your name of God. You chant that. Begin that. There is name. You do not know. So our recommendation is, not my recommendation, from the Vedic uh, literature, authoritative recommendation, and the Bhagavad Gita, satatam kirtantam maam jatantascha divabhrata. Everything is there. We, you begin. That's why I said in this age so many things is impossible to be done. But you begin chanting the holy name of God. What is the difficulty? Mm-hmm. To know the name. Because I to know why you are doubtful. There is name. If you do not know, take it from us. I see that so many. Why you deny that? Thousands and millions of. That that's all right. Here is one name. Why don't you take it? No, I said millions of men are huh? looking for the name. Yeah. yeah. But if I am giving the name, why don't you take it? <laughs> why? Because I am not convinced that it is a right name. That is your misfortune. I am not making it. That is your misfortune. How can I help? Do you not know the name? If somebody is informing you what is the name, you still will not tell that that is your misfortune. What can be done? A misfortunate man cannot be helped. Satatam Kita Yanto Ma Yatantascha Judha Brata Namas Yantas Chamam Bhakya Nitya Yukta Upasate Always chanting my glories, endeavoring with great determination, bowing down before me, these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion. And uh, when I was in Africa, I saw the, the people are looking for the name and chanting like you chant. And, uh, but they have a complete different um, 
idea of God. My question is, how can I know what is the right name? From where do you know this? But as a human being, you can study what you have seen in Africa, where we are seeing here. There's much difference. Uh, I mean, my impression only. Eh? I saw singing the people. No, just like the these boys and girls. They are coming from Jewish group or Christian group. They have not come from India. The how they are chanting and enjoying, you can see. No, I mean the attention was the same, yes. they're looking for food. They are the, the, the following of policy, you have to see the result and study. I was quite surprised. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and ask them to induce to chant any other name. They will not do that. You have to study by the result of the activity, not theoretical. Yes, that would be the Christian. Yes. Yes. That's the same word. The Christian Christian is when St. Paul speaks. We have the same. No, we phenomenon. say that we follow Christian principle. You become perfect. But the difficulty is nobody follows anything. He follows his own opinion. That's all. In my opinion. What you are, your opinion. That is the division. Yes, you can take. Yeah, in the in the Bible there are even a lot of statements regarding chanting, instructions that that people should chant the holy name of God, like in the Old Testament it said from morning to evening you should chant the holy name of God. And that is the uh, business in these days. Chant the holy name. Whatever you do, do in the name of Jesus Christ. That's all I intend to do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. The simplest method, chant the holy name of God. That's all. Should this chanting be loud uh, or can it also be a half loud whisper or a silently mentally? Does it play any difference? Does it make any difference? If you chant loudly, then others can hear. They also take benefit. Hmm? So yeah. Even, even so, the birds and bees, they will hear and be benefited. Therefore, loud chanting is recommended. So that even the birds, bees, trees, yeah. plants, they can hear. Yeah. I seldom saw so many happy faces as today, this evening, below. Yeah. Yeah, that is the case. Yeah. In America also, the ladies and gentlemen ask them, are you Americans? Yes. Are you Americans? Uh -huh. yeah, because they do not see America in such a nice way. <laughs> 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 One Christian priest, I was going from Los Angeles to Hawaii, so he came to talk with me. He asked, Sahiji, how is that your disciples look so bright? He inquired, yes. Without drugs. Yes. <laughs> and one Christian priest issued one pamphlet that these boys, they are our boys, but before this they are not coming to the church, they did not want to ask anything about God. Now they are mad after God. How is this? He admitted, they are our men. And I'll give you another example. In our Los Angeles temple, this was a church, big church. Eh? It was not going on. It was being closed. And it was sold to us. <laughs> and now go and see, there is daily thousands of the same man, the same place. The crowd is so young. Why? I have not brought all these men from India. <laughs> Just judge. Unless it is something sublime, how they are accepted. And they are all young boys. Not that they have become old, therefore they are singing mm -hmm. after God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and young man has got so many aspirations to go to the <laughs> restaurant, to smoke, to enjoy, girlfriend, boyfriend, they have given up everything. And they are working in the society. They are working no, every We are working. We are writing this book and selling. That's all. This is our work. <laughs> we have more than Even in the Indian parliament, 
if the way question was raised, that how is that this international society is spending lavishly, what is their income? There is a rumor that Americans are sending these CIA, what is that? <laughs> Rascal people that think the CIA has come to dance and chant her. <laughs> so, and of course, the reply was given that we have no information that these people are CIA, but uh, we know that they are maintaining themselves by selling their literature and public contribution. That's all. And we have got a hundred and two centers like this. Uh, this is not very if you go to our Los Angeles Center, New York Center and uh, other Vrindavan uh, Center and Navadhi Center, not less than two hundred men are there, always. And we are providing them there food, center, and we give education to their children, we are getting them married. We don't allow these boys to live as friends. No, we get yourself married. Yes. Here is a girl, Kausala. I picked her from Hawaii. Now you can ask what she was and what she is now. Now she is married, she is happy, she is everything. Life is there. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So I think you are all learned gentlemen. You should give us support and cooperate with this movement. It is a very nice movement. That is my request to you. May we take your leave, Srinivasa? No, you sit down. All right. I have no regret. I can talk all night. <laughs> because it is Krishna's talk. And that is, you have read already. Satatam kirtantam. Why do you stop? Satatam. Go on, continue. What is that? Satatang means? Satatang kirtantang maam jatantashta jivabhuta namas satantashta maam. In what way can we support or cooperate with your movement? In what way can we be of optimal benefit to your movement? That is a simple thing. You chant Hare Krishna. No, I mean in a, in a further, in an extended way, in being in, in a, for example... We have, we have got a life membership program. You can become a life member and read all these books and chant Hare Krishna. No, there I, is no loss. Uh, Suppose you chant Hare Krishna, there is no material loss on your part. But if there is any gain, why don't you take it? No, my question was perhaps a little not quite clear. Uh, many of us here, mm-hmm. myself, uh, represent you not only the personal selves but are uh, here on behalf of certain institutions and uh, we are um, uh, active in some form or the other of public service, this gentleman probably also. And in what way, for example, w- would we serve your movement uh, by giving a clear explanation about the aims of your activity, for example, removing prejudices, yeah. and, uh, supporting Sanskrit studies and uh, the, the, better distri- the better distribution of the Bhagavad Gita in this form, in such ways perhaps? Yes. Yeah. Hmm? We are writing this book for distribution. Yes, yeah, yes. The people yes, in I have already suggested that. Hmm? Yeah. And they are not manufactured knowledge. Yes, sir. The standard knowledge, yes, sir. basic knowledge. Yes, sir. I am explaining yes. for understanding how the people in general. Yes, sir. Each word is being explained. Yes. Yes, good for what is yes, I yeah. yeah, here, here is my dicta form, I am sitting here. Mm. So as soon as I stop talking I shall write in mm. here. At night also mm. I get up at two o'clock, mm. one o'clock. Mm. I write this book. I came to the United States in 1965, and this movement was started in 1966-67. And since that time he has published about 20 books like this, including Bhagavad Gita, 
Chaitanya Chaitamrita. And what is the number of books sold last year? Four million. Four million. Hmm. But may I please put a question before I forget? Uh, I heard from our, our I read in your in, in the invitation that uh, this center is not only a, a center as such, but something more. It should it should uh, also be an ashram and also an, a, a forest university in the tradition of the ancient time, yes. a kind of a university oh, yes. of uh, yes. allied sci- Indian and allied sciences, Vedic sciences. My idea is that all our centers should be self-supported. Mm-hmm. Uh, we do not like that idea that for your support you have to go hundred miles to get your bread. Uh, and that is a very, very dangerous problem. You produce your food locally uh, and then support yourself. <coughs> the main problem is what to eat, what to sleep. So we get some place and uh, support ourselves by producing our own uh, food. Uh-huh. We have already begun. Yeah. New Vrindavan, uh, New uh, West Margin, Virginia, yeah. and similar other center. We are producing our food, grains, uh, grains, vegetable, fruits, and milk. There is everything. But they don't kill any animal. No, no. That we don't. But will this center you also be a kind of a place of learning for, for Sanskrit studies and allied oh, yes. topics? Yes, that's a good point. We are educating our children yes. uh, in Dallas, yes. a very good institution, yes. Sanskrit and English. Yes. And they are reading these books. Mm. That is sufficient. Mm. If they read this book, all my different department of knowledge mm. will be acquired. Jasmin Vigyati Saravidam Vigyatam Bhavanti. Thank you. What are these pictures? These are pictures of our society's activities. Very constructive and very... So much success in a relative very short time. Mm. If, you begin, if you began in 1966. Mm. 67. Ah, so. And uh, during the Bangladesh crisis you also... Uh, yes, anyone can repeat huh? that much. There are many refugees, mm-hmm. so we fed them. Awesome. But that, uh, that automatically answers the question of the gentleman also, the body in the service of other people. This is already necessary. Yes. Yes. No, we give food. Anyone come and take food. Here also, there is no question of Bangladesh, but anyone come and take food. In our Mahapur center, we especially give food distribution on Saturday and Sunday. At least 5,000 people. So all humanitarian work is included. Included. So now we have come to Germany. We hmm. cooperate and make it a great success yeah. for the general benefit of the whole humanity. Yeah. We have got arts, music, literature, culture, food, everything. I think it will also help to quite a considerable extent for the removing of prejudices and for a better understanding of... This is the only platform where all people, all religion, all culture can unite. And to this is the only platform. Krishna constant. And to practically see how they are becoming successful. In Africa...